What is good, everybody? So today, I'm going to be taking out through my top four arm exercises. What I have in mind, I'm going to have two tricep exercises, one for the lateral head, one for the long head, and then for the bicep slash forearm, forearm I'm going to have two exercises. I'm going to have a regular curl to hit mainly my bicep, and I'm going to have a hammer curl to hit more my long head and my bicep and my, uh, my brachial radialis and my forearm. So yeah, man, uh, that's going to be a good plan for exercises, and I will see y'all with the first exercise. So the first exercise I'm going to have is going to be any type of push down. I preferably like the rope, but really anything, you can use a straight bar, a V bar, a W bar, or the rope. It's really up to you. That's really the only main push downs you can do is like those different four. The yeah, cues here, this is for your lateral head of your tricep. So you want to keep your hands close to your body, get on top of the weight. I know it sounds kind of strange, but yeah, like get on top of it, like push down and like get over it. So this is like your strongest position. So here, full squeeze at the bottom. Make sure to pull your arms out or down and then out. You see, I go kind of out. That's just that's just at least the best way that I like to do it. So, so my second exercise is also for my triceps. This is for the primarily the long head of the triceps. So this is going to be an easy bar skull crusher. You can really do this with either dumbbells. You can do this with this, or you can do it with a rope cable attachment. So, but yeah, here, take a close grip, press. Strong, don't try to limp your wrist back because then it will cause wrist pain. Straight wrist, turn elbows in, and then down to your forehead. Either you can go here to my to your forehead, down to your neck, or even all the way back here. It's really all personal preference. But yeah, tips here, like I said, straight wrist, elbows in, slow down, up, slow down, up. And then also after you go to failure here, you could take it to a close grip bench press for a little bit more uh Tricep activation. So here, close grip. Always control these slow on the way down. Up. Up. So yeah, my second exercise and my final exercise for my triceps will be a easy bar skull crusher. So my third exercise, we're going to be moving on to the biceps now. So really, it doesn't really matter, at least in my opinion. You just need any type of regular like type of curl. Anything where your arms face like this doing a curl. Because this, if you have your hands like this, this is a hammer curl. But your wrist position really matters how the biceps going to get hit. So I'm just going to show you all an example with a barbell curl. You can do this with an easy bar, a cable straight bar, really just any type of, like I said, just regular type of curl. So here, you slow up, squeeze, slow the eccentric on the bottom. And whenever you do get like to your final couple reps, you can throw the weight up a little bit just to get a couple more reps out of here. But yeah, this is really going to be focused on the short head of the bicep. So barbell curls. So my fourth and final exercise is going to be a hammer curl. This is mainly going to focus on my forearm, slash like my outer part of my bicep, like my brachialis and my long head of my bicep. So here, always grip these, in my opinion, at least as hard as you can, just so you can be good and stable. Take them off the rack. Here, I would do one at a time, just personal preference. So slow, squeeze at the top, squeeze. And the same tip with the, the barbell curl. Once you get like to your final couple reps, you can swing a little bit. But just make sure you're having a good controlled eccentric. So those are my top four arm exercises that I currently do in my routine. And that I've, out of what I've experienced, those are the best for, at least for training my arm specifically. So first we had the regular push down, hit your lateral head. That's just here to here, slow controlled. And then for the second tricep exercise, we did a skull crusher. I've really found out with tricep training, it's really all about like arm placement. So like whenever your arm is here to here, you're working your lateral head of your tricep. But whenever you stretch up at the top, it's more like long head. And then uh, for biceps, we just did a regular barbell curl. Like I said, though, it really doesn't matter what type of curl you do, either like a barbell curl, a straight bar cable curl, or even like an easy bar curl. It's just as long as your hands, you're like your palms are facing out. So you're curling like this to work your short head of your bicep. And then to finish off the workout, like I said, it's a uh, brachialis slash long head of the bicep. Bicep. So, or long head of the bicep slash like your forearm muscles is a just a regular hammer curl. You can do a dumbbell hammer curl. You can do a rope hammer curl i really between those two i just like pick half and half just one workout to do a regular dumbbell hammer curl just one at a time then another workout i'll do like a double hand rope hammer curl so yeah man those are my top four arm exercises that i have done to grow my arms pretty decently if you see here oh yeah we got the arms coming in but yeah man those are my top four exercises i appreciate y'all for watching and i will see y'all in the next one peace out and god bless